Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle from Tracking 200. Today I've got a product spotlight video. No pun intended. I've got a couple of flashlights here from Oda Pro. They've sent me these courtesy of a review and a video. So I put together a short video, show some of their features, some of the capabilities, some things I like, some things that could possibly be improved. But uh, if you're in the business for a flashlight, they're worth checking out. I've got the KL52 Plus and the KL41 Plus. If I open these up, the reality is they're very similar packages. There's some uh, main differences between the flashlights themselves, but for the most part, they come with your flashlight, a green, white, infrared at uh, 850 nanometers, a rotel switch, two 300, um, uh, 3000 milliamp hour 18650 batteries, a dual slot recharger, a weaver, Pitt County rail mount, and a universal mount. Now when it comes to the flashlights, the main difference between these is that the KL52 is a zoomable flashlight and the 41 is not. Just some differences between these. When it's zoomed in, it's a lot shorter flashlight than it is when it's zoomed out on the KL52. There's some knurling on the 41. It also has a larger heat sink. The, uh, the bezels are slightly different. They're both tail switch operated. They come with a lanyard, and uh, one of the biggest differences that I've noticed is that as you go to change out the LEDs on the KL41, all but the red one are labeled with the color. So I'll just go ahead and separate that. So that is how the LED changes out. It's nice that it's labeled because they all look the same. And they also have the, uh, the O-rings on the outside of the thread, so it should keep dust and water out of these. Oda Pro, I looked them up, and they also make flashlights for diving. I'll separate this one. This is just a little trick I want to show folks if you do end up getting one of these. And, they sent me these free, so I'm um, looking at this from a you know positive perspective. I didn't know how to change this out when it was zoomed out. Now, how do you get in there? But um, as we zoom this in, you can then get to the LED. And as you can see, having a label on the KL41 is pretty handy because now this LED actually looks a lot like the, um, the green one. I grab that. The red, of course, looks red, and the IR version doesn't have um, much color to it, and it's not really visible. You have to go into a dark room, and when you do, you might be able to see some red glow against the wall with it. Now I've got the KL52 flashlight. I'll just fold back my scope covers and this is the universal mount so I'll slip the flashlight in here and we'll just tighten this up to install it and it's got some little fabric in there to keep it from twisting it's actually on there relatively good I don't want to go too much worried about compressing my uh, scope tube but it's on there pretty good so this is tail switch operated it does make a click. So if I was going to use this for predator hunting, I would remove this standard flashlight tail switch and install this remote. Now this one is, it's, a, it's temporary on, you have to hold it on. So go ahead and install that. The nice thing about all these flashlights is the threads are all covered and there's an o-ring on the outside side of the threads. So it should keep all the threads nice and clean for the lifetime of the flashlight. So 
this is, of course, empty, but I'm just gonna, it's got a little adhesive here, so 3M, I'm not gonna put it on this gun, but I could very easily uh, put this here, so when I uh, am holding it, I can just click that with my thumb, or you can bring it around this other side, use one of the other fingers, but I think the thumb makes the most sense. So I'm just gonna take this out and show you what this would look like. So, strobe, SOS, low, medium, high, strobe. It's a lot, this switch is a lot more quiet than the tail switch. So that's the KL52. I think I could show what the profile looks like when this is zoomed in on here. So you can see that's that's zoomed in, that's a hot spot. I'm just gonna um, rotate this the other way and we'll spread that beam out quite a bit. There you have it. We'll do some more testing once the darkness falls. All right, so I've got the KL52 zoomed in on the left. You can see that square is the same shape as the LED. The 41's on the right. I'm gonna zoom out the 52 and compare the difference between these zoomed out. 52 is really even. The 41's got that little hot spot in the center. So I changed out the LED on the KL52 from the white to the green one. Started out in max flood, and now I've just zoomed that in. I think the profile of the spot is narrower on the green LED. So again, I've changed the LED from the green over to the red, started that on max flood and just zoomed that in. Again, I think the profile is closer to the size of the green than it was the white here. If you have any questions for me about the flashlights, you can leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond. As always, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.